السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر برزر اینڈ سسٹرز اٹ واز دا ٹوینٹی سیونتھ آف دا منتھ آف رمضان دیٹ دی ہولی پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز ان اے کیو سم تھری مائلز نارتھ آف دا سٹی آف مکہ ان غار ہرا سبسیکوینٹلی ٹو بی نون ایز جبل نور دا ماؤنٹین آف لائٹ He was in this cave, and on that night, the angel of God comes to him and commands him in his mother tongue, in Arabic. Iqra, which means read, or proclaim, or recite. And the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, being unlearned, naturally, he responds, he says, ma ana biqari'in, he said, I'm not learned. So the angel of God commands him a second time, Iqra, meaning again, read, or recite, or rehearse. And the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again pleads with the angel in terror. He says, Ma ana He said, I'm not learned. For the third time, the angel of God embraces him hard and says, Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. So read in the name of thy Lord and cherisher who created. Now the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he grasps that what was required for him to do was to repeat because this Arabic word Iqra means to read, to recite, to rehearse, to repeat. So he repeated. Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. So read in the name of the Lord and Cherisher who created. So khalaq al insana min alaq. So he who created man from a mere clot of congealed blood. So he says khalaq al insana min alaq. So, Ikra wa Rabbuk al-Akram. He says, read, and the Lord is most bountiful. And he says, Ikra wa Rabbuk al-Akram. So, Alladhi allama bil-Qalam. He says, he who taught the use of the pen. So, he says, Alladhi allama bil-Qalam. So, allama al-insana ma'alam ya'alam. He says, taught man that which he knew not. And he says, allama al-insana ma'alam ya'alam. These were the first five verses that were revealed to our Nabiya Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in that Ghari Hira. Immediately, the angel disappeared, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa shivering all over, sweating, he runs home some three miles south to Mecca and to his dear wife, Ummul Mu'mineen Khadijatul Kubra, and he says, cover me up, cover me up. And she covered him up. When he got out of his excitement, he explained to her what he had seen and what he had heard. Because those words made indelible impression on his heart and mind. He could never let go. They were, so to say, like grooved into his mind. And he feared that what had happened was that something has gone wrong with him. We talk about other people, he said, who go mad, who are possessed, and perhaps something similar has happened to me. Our mother, Ummul Mu'mineen Khadija al Kubra, she assures him that Allah will not allow such a thing to happen to him. And she takes him to her cousin Waraka, who had learned the scripture of the Jews and the Christians, and she, he assured him that Allah has chosen him as a prophet, and if he were alive, this man was blind, Waraka, that if he were alive, you know, when trouble came, he would be very happy to help him in his mission. Now, question arises, where did the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, get these words from? Where they're coming out of his own mind, his subjective mind, his own thoughts and imaginations? Now, I have had fortune, the, good, uh, the good fortune, the opportunity of speaking this subject to psychologists. And again and again, the psychologists, they say they can't account for this wahi. Because the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he's not talk talking about the problems of his people. They were problems. The problem of his people was that they were drunkards, they were adulterers, they were gamblers, there was fratricidal wars over little, little things. They were fighting and killing one another for decades. That given the master historian truly described the Arabs before Islam, the Arabs of Ayyamul Jahiliya, he said the human brute meaning the animal in human form. The human brute, almost without sense, is poorly distinguished from the rest of the animal creation. The only thing human about them was the form. Otherwise, in their ethics, in their morality, in their behavior, they were worse than animals. The Arabs of Ayyamul Jahiliya. 
So this was his problem. And instead of talking about his problem, he is made to utter about speaking about, reading, about writing, and about learning things unknown before. How do you account for it? Psychologists fail. Now, this wahi, the first revelation, the experience that our Nabi Karim وسلم, had, and that he went and ran home to his dear wife, Umul Mu'minin Khadija al Kubra, are not the narrations of an imposter. If a man impostures a position, if he, an imposter comes along and he says, I'm a prophet, God has chosen me, then he does not talk about how terrified he was, how he sweated, and how he ran home to his wife, which is the most shameful thing for an Arab to say today, that he ran home to his wife for help and support. And it would be more shameful 1,400 years ago to tell his people that I ran home to my dear wife. Now, this is not the behavior of an imposter. Imposters don't behave like that. Because imposters, they would like to make it known that they are somebody great. That Jibreel, Jibreel came to me, an imposter would talk something like this. And I told him, you better bring God down from his throne. I want to talk to have a, to have a personal chat with him, face to face. As Moses spoke to him, I want to speak to him, bring him down. And God came down from his arsh, and he sat with me, and we had a heart-to-heart -heart chat, and so on and so on. This is how imposters talk. But this, again, is a fulfillment, is a fulfillment of a prophecy, of a basharat, from the previous scriptures, from the scriptures of the Jews and the Christians. In this book called the Bible, what the Christians and the Jews hold dear, the Old Testament portion of it, in it there is a book called the book of Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, I'm sorry, chapter 29, verse 12, there is a prophecy which reads, it says, and the book, book meaning the revelation of God, not literally in this form here, as we see the Holy Quran in this form. No. The book means the revelation of God, like Allah says, Zalik al kitabu. this is the book, but there was no book in this form. It is the revelation, the wahi. It says, and the book is given to him that is not learned. I'm quoting. I'm quoting word for word from the scripture. So, and the book is given to him that is not learned. And ummi, saying, read. And he saith, I am not learned. In other words, I'm not educated. How can I read when I'm not learned? Now, there is not another occasion in the life experience of any prophet in the Bible, and hundreds of prophets are mentioned in the Bible, including Hazrat Isa alayhi salam in the New Testament is mentioned by name. Hazrat Yahya alayhi salam, they call him John the Baptist, is mentioned in the book. No Isa or Musa or Dawood or Suleiman or Yahya or Ilyas, not one prophet in this whole vast volume of the Bible, not one prophet we ever find these words escaping his lips that I am not learned that I'm not learned. Jesus didn't say that I'm not learned. Yahya didn't say that I'm not learned. But this we find fulfilled in the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that he is a fulfillment of the prophecies of the Old Testament and the New Testament. In the words of Hazrat Musa salam, he prophesied the coming of our Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the words of Hazrat Isa salam, Jesus Christ, he also prophesied the coming of our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is the duty of the Muslim to look up these verses and master these verses and share them with their fellow countrymen, the Christians who live in our midst, the Christians in the Lebanon, the Christians in Egypt, and the Christians throughout the world, people, our fellow workers, our co-workers, our employees. It is our duty to share this knowledge, this basharat, this fulfillment of prophecy with them, with the Jews, and the Christians. And this is the primary duty of the Muslims, and it is about time that we did this job, which we have been neglecting for the past 1400 years.